Now remember the hand is a very important tool because we do so many things with our hand. Fine motor skill, coarse motor skill, touch and expression of love. So the hands are actually amazing tool with us. Rotator cuff muscles. The rotator cuff muscles are stabilizer muscles. As I already mentioned that the muscles are of two types, one that are mover and the other that are stabilizer. We don't know how to use our trunk properly and we lift things in an inappropriate way, we can injure our rotator cuff. You can achieve a full treatment without any surgical intervention. Hello, welcome to my forum for well-being, how to prevent chronic diseases and chronic pain. Uh, on this forum, we talk about different pain conditions and I give some tips which normally I explain to my patients when they come and visit me. It, uh, it saves them time if they have already seen and heard these informations so that we can talk about the very specific problem when they come and visit me. Today I'm going to talk about the shoulder pain. Remember the shoulder is a very unique joint. No joint is like shoulder joint because it has a greater freedom of movement. Think about it, 180 degree this way, 180 degree this way and when you externally rotate almost 90 degree and when you internally rotate almost 90 degree. So this much range of motion is not available for any other joint. The reason is that the function of the shoulder is actually to carry your hand in the space. And as a matter of fact, when you compare the other animals, other mammals and all other animals, this very skill of carrying your hand in the space makes you superior to them because you can achieve a lot. Now remember the hand is a very important tool because we do so many things with our hand. Fine motor skill, coarse motor skill, touch and expression of love. So the hands are actually amazing tool with us. But the way it is carried is your shoulder. So understanding this phenomena helps us understand the problem with shoulder. Since it has a lot range of motion and freedom of movement, the problem is it is not very stable because it is the head of our arm bone does not fit exactly into the cavity provided by our shoulder bone. So it is loosely, the head is big and the cavity is small. So the stabilization comes from rotator cuff muscles. The rotator cuff muscles are stabilizer muscles. As I already mentioned that the muscles are of two types, one that are mover and the other that are stabilizer. So stabilizer muscles are very intelligent muscles. They have to work continuously at each level of movement. They are also at the risk of getting torn or they are at the risk of getting injured. So that's why if we don't know how to use our trunk properly and we lift things in an inappropriate way, we can injure our rotator cuff. Particularly, you know, when you're lifting heavy weight, you, you're not used to lift heavy weight, but one day you are lifting a very big box, moving the furniture, or at airport, you're taking a big suitcase from the aisle. So all these things end up having a little tear to your rotator cuff. Now that rotator tear can be added, another small tear, and some fibers were added when you picked up something from the back seat in the car. So in this way, you keep on doing things and it keep on accumulating, and one day it has become very much painful. Now when it becomes painful, especially the rotator cuff tear, the joint, when it moves its range of motion, the membrane around it, gets adhered to the bone and since every time we go beyond certain limit we get pain we don't move and because we don't move it gets further adhered so in this way this pain continues till we go for its treatment now interestingly the treatment is very simple whenever you want to treat a joint you look at its function if its function is basically movement just go through that and restore that movement. So making a range of motion for the shoulder is its final treatment. Forget about the tear. 
or adhesions as much as you can bring your arm upward and the sidewise despite the pain you can achieve a full treatment without any surgical intervention because the other muscles are going to take compensatory action however sometimes because of severe pain you cannot do the range of motion for that we can give intra-articular injection inside the joint an injection of numbing medication and a small dose of steroid nowadays because of the imaging guidance like ultrasound or fluoroscope you can make sure that the medicine is inside the joint and it clears the inflammation and now you have a window of pain relief in which you can do the range of motion exercises the physical therapist actually gives you those range of motion exercises the best simple exercises you have a good hand and you have a painful hand Put them together, make sure your elbow is straight because if the elbow is not straight, you are moving like this. So the elbow is straight and you are trying to go up and down. Make it 10, 15, as much as you can. And where your pain comes, you stop there. But next day you want to move a little further till you get 100% range of motion. So also you can do finger walking on the wall you step stand beside a wall at a comfortable distance and start walking 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 and where you get pain you make a pencil and make a line there and you do 10 times every time you want to go a little further and next day a little further till you get complete range of motion and you don't have pain and that's it this is all what you have to do. Very simple exercises. If you go to physical therapist, learn the exercises. Because going to physical therapist continuously every day, it becomes harder and it is not convenient. So whenever you happen to have a good physical therapist, try to learn these exercises so that even when you are at home, you can do them exercises and that is the end point that is actually the end point all the other procedures are basically means to this end sometimes the rotator cuff is tear is very big and along with that you have a tear inside so there is an internal derangement of the joint in that case a surgical consultation is very useful nowadays through orthoscopically that means just putting a little micro camera inside the joint you can find out how to repair the tear, how to repair the labrum or the inside other tissues and make it perfectly back to normal uh, joint. Shoulder joint, remember, is very important to carry your hand and actually the whole life will be limited if the shoulder is limited. So uh, make sure you don't just listen to these instructions. If there is a problem, there is a disclaimer that you must see your provi healthcare provider, your doctor, and under his guidance, her guidance, do these activities, and hopefully you can get rid of any shoulder pain.